Hey guys, this is the Tesla Model Y and I'm going to show you how to re-torque your tires. The correct torque when re-torquing is 129 foot-pounds if you're in the US, but if you're in Europe it's 175 newton meters, just different units here. And this is the same for all the um, accepted wheel sizes. So in the manual you can find this under specifications and wheels and tires. It's important to retorque your tires because if you had service done on the tires or service done on the car which required taking the tires off, the lug nuts always need to be retorqued. There is a small risk of a tire coming off if you don't retorque your tires so a lug nut might get loose and slowly drop out and if that happens to a sufficient amount of lug nuts the wheel will drop off that has happened uh, to some people so there is a small risk and you really should retorque your tires because uh, just having one lug nut getting loose you, you might you might get uh, issues which you really don't want to experience so i'm in finland and i have here a torque wrench so i'm setting it to 175 newton meters so it's 129 uh, foot pounds if you're in the us the socket size you need is 21 millimeters so then we just set the wrench on the first lug nut and press it down and once it clicks, we know that it's at the correct torque. We just go through all of the lug nuts on this wheel and then move to the next one. I just did it for this car and nothing was loose, so it's all good to go. And the correct interval after a, a tire service or other service which requires removing the car would be uh, something like 50 to 100. 100 miles of driving or uh, maybe 50 to 150 kilometers of driving If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching